Hi everyone, okay, so we have a simultaneous uh, equation and uh, we want to find the value of x and y. Okay, so there are two methods, there is uh, elimination and there is also substitution. In this case, we are going to use substitution method to find the value of x and uh, y. Okay, so to use substitution method, we are going to give these uh, equation names. So this will be equation 1 and this should be equation 2. Okay, so with that uh, done, now we can actually pick uh, equation in 2. We are going to use 2 in this case. So we have x plus 2y equals to 1. We can make x the subject here. It's quite easy. So x is already this side. This should be equal to 1 minus 2y. So we know that x equals to 1 minus 2y. So because we picked equation uh, 2, okay, because we picked equation 2, that would mean that we can now replace the value of x in equation 1. So equation 1, we have 3. Where there is, x, uh, where there is actually x, we can put this. So 1 minus 2y uh, plus y should equal to 13. So that is actually equation 1 that we have picked. So with that done, now we are going to simplify this. So 3 times 1, we get 3. 3 times that, we get 6y. Uh, plus y equals to 13. Now we can collect the like terms. So negative 6y plus y will get, give us negative 5y, which will equal to 13 minus 3 to be 10. So we can divide with negative 5. Negative 5, this will go out. So y will equal to negative 4, uh, negative 2. Okay? Because it's negative 5 into 10. So we'll get negative 2. Now that we have the value of y, the next thing that we want to do is to just get this value of y. Uh, you can even uh, plug it in here. Okay? This sim simplified the uh, e e equation that you had. Or if you don't want, you can pick any of these two. Okay? So for me, I can just simply pick that one. And I'll say uh, x equals to 1 minus 2y. So instead of writing y here, I can put the value of y, which is minus 2. So x will equal to 1 plus 2. Or plus 4, so, sorry. Because this will be or multiplied, so it will give us 4. So x will equal to uh, 5. Okay? So now we have our answer as, so therefore, um, x equals to 5, y equals to neg negative 2. Okay? So you can uh, try these uh, values out and what I mean by that is trying to prove if the answers are correct So we can try it by picking either of these two. So let's pick on the second one So the second one here we have x so we can put 5 that is x Plus if we put negative 2 here that would be negative 4. So this will change to negative 4 So minus 4 Okay, and when you subtract this 5 minus 4 give you 1 and this is the one that we have on the other side so you can see that those answers are correct and you can, not, you can actually be proving these answers every now and then. Thank you very much for watching and follow for more.